Hello everyone, I'm Bunt Privateer and today we'll be taking a closer look at the new DLC premium ship that's going to be added very soon. It is HMS Pandora, a British shallow frigate, technically a 6th rate and it was a post ship but in game it's going to be labeled as a 5th rate. So taking a closer look at the statistics of the ship, it has the lower BR compared to its counterparts and by counterparts I mean the ships are going to be the closest to the Pandora in based on the statistics and I'm looking here at the Hercules, the another DLC premium ship and a surprise, a free counterpart. So Pandora is going to be 100 BR, Hercules is 110 and surprise is 130 and it is pretty much based on the broadside weight because Pandora has the lowest broadside weight compared to the other ships. Look in the gun arm on it. On Pandora, we're pretty much looking at the 9 pounders on the lowest deck, which don't look so impressive compared to the Hercules 18 pounders, which can also mount Adino rocks. But it looks pretty okay if we look at the Surprise, which also mounts 9 pounders at best. The ship kinda does allow to mount 32 pound carronades, and that's probably what everyone is going to be using on it, because it makes much more sense in terms of firepower and performance. Uh, on the second deck we can mount an 18 pound carronade, just same like on the surprise, but not as many. And on the weather deck, a nice addition, we can mount swivels. That will kind of make it count as three decks ship, which is not really so realistic, but the game considers it as three decks and it gives advantage in boarding. Just like on our Hercules with weather deck with two guns per side but it still counts as three decks. Look at the chasers, it's going to have a bare minimum of two bow chasers and two stern chasers. They can mount just six pounders longs or 18 pound carronades, pretty much the same standard as Hercules or Surprise, but the Hercules and Surprise can both have two chasers more. Hercules has four bow chasers, Surprise has four stern chasers. So Pandora will be slightly behind these ships in the comparison of the chasers advantage. On the other topic, the armor of the ship and the thickness is something where finally Pandora can be better than its counterparts. So Pandora will have a little bit less HP than the Surprise but almost the same amount of HP and it will have about 1000 HP more than the Hercules. So we can consider Hercules to be a glass cannon but of course it's going to be used by the veterans because veterans can make a better use of greater firepower and bigger guns and more chasers. The crew armament of the Pandora will be 210 at best and it's going to be just 10 more than the Hercules which is not really a huge difference. Now looking at the sailing profiles and speeds of the ships we can see that the Pandora is 0.2 knots faster than the Surprise but Hercules is still 0.3 knots faster than the Pandora. So it remains an ambiguous speed king of the ships that I'm comparing. Based on the sailing profiles Pandora does beat Surprise at half of the wind rows, technically saying it's faster than a Surprise from 90 to 180 degrees which means it's the downwind ship that can be pretty much compared to the rattlesnake or a pirate frigate because it's missing some of the jibs that Surprise and Hercules do have. Compared to the Hercules, it's only faster at three points of sail, specifically at 150, 165 and 180, which makes pretty much Hercules a superior ship in terms of a speed and sailing profile compared to the Pandora. Right now I'm here with Sir John that's sailing at Hercules and we're going to 1v1. Hello. Hello there. Hey John, did you get the guns for a ship? I did put carronades on it by the way, 32 pounders instead of mine. Okay, I'm, do I'm undocking from Port de and just let me somewhere around here. Heading over to you right now. So here we are engaging each other, Pandora against the Hercules, and my point of view is pretty much that Hercules is going to beat Pandora in most of the aspects. And don't get me wrong, Pandora is not a bad ship, not, not a weak ship, but still, compared to the Hercules, Hercules beats Pandora in most of the aspects. It has greater speed, greater turn rate, greater firepower, more chasers, and it just Looks like Pandora stands no chance against Hercules, to be honest. On the side note, did you notice how Pandora's masts are disproportionately and unnatur unnaturally tall compared to its whole size? Oh, yeah. The Lynx only has a mast like maybe 10 15 feet uh, shorter than uh, Surprise. So, my sailing crew requirement is 58. How about you? 40, uh, 45 max, but uh, with everything spread out, 32. And do you run Adinorogs on your ship? 
I do not. Um, no. So I need more Kron sailing, but I only need 218 Kron gunnery. Hmm. And on gunnery I have 227 max. Yeah, I guess it's not such a big difference. All right, right. I do as well, I'm excited to see how they turn me out. <laughs> Keep in mind that I only have one ship knowledge in this ship, and I'm running ship handling. Well, I don't have it anyway. <laughs> at all. It's going to be really hard aiming a fully carnate ship without gunner encyclopedia. I think I'm running helm training on this one, so I have 3% increase as well. Just out of curiosity, do you run any mass mods? I do. <laughs> okay, cool, because I have Elite French on mine. Uh, okay. It's really hard to hit the mass of the Hercules because they are so, so tiny. Certainly, yeah. Technically, the base mass thickness is 7 centimeters more than a Hercules and 2 centimeters more than the Surprise, which is ridiculous. Did you see the uh, mass thickness before you came up? Because with French rig refit on my Hercules, I think I have 104. 123 centimeters. Interesting. I'm not really sure if my aim sucks so much or just the lack of the accuracy books. Both. <laughs> but the spread is really big and the devs decrease the dispersion of the guns. True. And uh, with this turn circle. I can really fear your turn rate being greater than mine. I dodged the latter half of your turn set. So we're both coronet and we're fighting the distance. Let's get some close quarter engagements. I will make sure to let you get some good close to broadsides though, so I can see how uh, Pandora fights. Prepare for the reload shock incoming. Yeah. <laughs> but to be honest, I'm still worried about getting reload shocked myself. What air nades are you running in there? 32 and 18 pound carolines. And this is white oak, white oak. Too. Well, that's quite a difference because I'm Bermuda, Bermuda only. Oh, okay, so that was not it a... It wasn't my choice. That was not a proper exchange. I was really expecting you to get reload shot. Yeah, and uh, Teak White Oak Hercules would certainly get reload shot. I was on the verge of it there, two more shots that hit me and maybe I... So a sedan wind ship, Pandora is not the best ship attacking the wind, but still does manage to attack the wind with the positive speed of about two or three knots. But I don't think the results will be as great when it comes when it goes down to like eighty or seventy percent of the sails. So, compared to you, I'm not losing as, as much crew as you are. And you did manage to take 13 of my crew there. I'm not sure what your swivels are doing for you, but... The swivels are a nice addition, but they can really mess up your aiming. You need to know when to turn them off and when to turn them on. Like, sometimes it's better to shoot without them and shoot them separately but sometimes it's fine to shoot everything at once. I clearly can see that you're sniping my masts. Now you, you did choose the French over, um, you know, on a cedar, yeah, on a cedar ship. I would think you'd go for the Spanish. I'm just renting this ship so it came with the heavy French mounted on them. Uh, <laughs> 
Watch out, because there's a good turn rake incoming on you. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, it did take a nice chunk of your structure and crew. Oh no, 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 oh no, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt, please no! There goes my side. Oh yes. Prepare to eat another survey. I'm down to doing my lovebird side right now. And so far I do have 19 mast hits and that's with carronades. I'm running a few dispersion yeah, mods. Yeah, my masts are so big, they're much bigger compared to yours. These masts are pretty easy. I mean, they're significantly larger than surprises as well. I can't tell how they compare to her mind. Yeah, I really don't get why Hercules has so tiny masts. It's like, it's really dependent on luck hitting them because they're so small and tiny. There we go. That was just a matter of time, even with the Alice French. Looked like 50 meters? 100? Uh, I'd say 75. So, I guess we're done with the duel. I could have played it better, but it wasn't really sort of a live or die fight, but more of a friendly battle and, you know, like a test battle just to figure out how the ship handles overall and how it compares to the Hercules, the performance in, in combat. And the final results are more or less pretty much exactly what I've expected from the ship. Thanks for testing this with me, Joe. It was a really pleasure. Thank you and for now, finish. let's take a closer a look at the model of the ship, how it looks inside and from the outside, at the details and textures of it overall. Pretty much just like all of the lately introduced ship models, this one looks really good. Um, I can't really say oh, yeah. anything bad about the model of the ship itself. It's just well done by the artists and modelers that have been working on it. Yeah, I have an easy job hitting these maps. We do have also very nice French, yellow and black colors of the ship's hull. What do you think about the paint? Uh, I, I prefer Nelson Checker, I must say, but... Still, it looks nice. It really does remind me of uh, Legnor's Venture or Belle Pool, for example. Yeah, French paint. We've got also a pretty neat and clean looking stern, because technically this ship wasn't a warship. And the ship has history too. I especially do love the round gun ports opening for the stern chasers and also the nice star between them. Ah, I didn't see him. Only three ships have such gun ports. Yacht, Santa Cecilia and Wappen von Hamburg. Nice, very nice. So the final conclusion is that the ship is overall pretty well balanced, I would say, with questionably strong and big masts. But other than that, well, the Hercules needs nerves. It's still too overpowered. <laughs> and it also has a dangerously very sexy bow figure with the Pandora holding the box. The box full of pay to win DLC ships. Right, yeah. Thanks everyone for watching, don't forget to give a like and subscribe and till the next time.